So welcome back. Again, we're about to create our first page inside of Dreamweaver. And again, we're going to build some very sophisticated pages, responsive design, the whole shebang using no hand coding. Oh, by the way, shebang is a technical word. You want to maybe spell that as S C. Just kidding. Okay, so let's get started by making yourself a new file, file new. Anything about a file, of course, is under the file menu. File import, file export, file print, file save, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I want you to start thinking how the software thinks. So file new, command N, Macintosh, control N for Windows. We're gonna make ourselves a basic HTML page. Now, if you happen to be working in previous versions of Dreamweaver, a Dreamweaver just doesn't default CS6 and CS5.5, et cetera, et cetera, does not default to HTML5 pages. You have to physically select that. CC does, so I'm gonna create an HTML5 page. And I'm gonna save the file. Now, this is a good habit to get into. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves, strangely enough, is I do happen to check out and watch what other instructors do. I think most of them don't know what they're doing, unfortunately. But the one thing that really upsets me, and, I, and I'm talking about videos on lynda.com and a lot of other places, is they're working in an untitled document where they didn't save the file. Well, as your instructor, I wanna teach you great technique to begin with. So if I'm doing bad habits, guess what? I'm gonna pass those bad habits on to you. So the first thing we're gonna do is save the file. Now notice that Dreamweaver automatically puts me in my root folder. So as an example, let's say I wasn't paying attention. Let's say it was inside my applications folder. And this is a very common problem. Well, I don't want to save this inside my applications folder, but because I set up a root directory or site root, I can simply click the word site root. That will automatically go back to the site root. And we're going to name this file. Now, here's what we're going to do for those of you that are new to the whole web atmosphere. The home page of your site is either going to be called index.html, index.htm, or default.html, or any combination of that. If you call it anything but default or anything but index, if you call it index2, index3, index4, it's not the home page. The home page is your default page for that particular directory. So as an example, if you go to you know, yahoo.com, that pulls up the index page for that particular site. But here's the deal. Every folder can have its own home page. So you can have ibm.com forward slash customer service. Inside the customer service folder is the index page. ibm.com forward slash shipping. Inside the shipping folder or directory is the index page. So you can have many index pages, of course, not in the same folder or directory. By the way, a folder is a directory, a directory is a folder. Windows operating systems calls it the directory. Macintosh calls it, calls it folder. So I just want to share that with you. So we're simply going to replace the home page. In fact, there's no home page up there. We're going to type in the word index and hit the return key. Now, here's what I typically like to do when setting up a site for the first time. I'm going to put in the name of the site, and I'm going to put uh, things about the site, maybe about what the site is about or what the site does. So as an example, I'm going to put the name of the site. Now, let's say as an example that I sell um, uh, wholesale coffee, okay? So that might be a good thing to put into the title of your website because that's going to come up in SEO, in search engine optimization. So I'm going to put now what wholesale coffee has to do with Dreamweaver CSS classes. Let's use some imagination here. So I'm just going to type in wholesale, C-O-F-F-E-E, two F's, two E's. And let's say we also do free shipping. In fact, let's say we do free FedEx shipping. That might be a good thing to put into the title of our page because that's going to be picked up in search engines. Now, here's something very important I want to share with you. Okay, Always title your page. If you don't title the page, it's going to come up in a search engine as untitled. And you'd be surprised if you do a search for that, how many people have not titled their pages. I want to teach you great technique. So here's an example. Now, I've had several students say, hey, this is worth the price of admission right here. I'm about to share with you. I'm just going to type in the word untitled document. Now, here's the frightening part. 8.7 million people did not title their document. Okay. So all these pages in here of people that didn't title their document, they're doing their, their self and their, their customer, their clients know 
uh, nothing good because it's not going to come up in a search engine. Now, of course, it's going to come up in a search engine if you type untitled document. Now, here's a real irony to this. Here's an Ivy League school, Dartmouth College, okay? And this is a page about probability, untitled document. Not the name of the file, the title of the page that appears in search engines, also in your browser window. The probability of Mr. Charles uh, Gristed titling this document is zero. Bad idea, bad news. Okay, so let me share with you how important it is to title your document. So I'm going to type in the word Dreamweaver. I'm going to type in Dreamweaver HTML5 classes. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, now. Okay, now this is not a can search. I literally just typed it Dreamweaver HTML5 classes. Now, these people right here don't count because they actually paid a lot of money to be there. So do these people over here. I'm going to share with you how to make a lot of money selling your websites and basically spending no money in advertising. I'm going to share with you how to do Google searches, et cetera, et cetera. So if you scroll down here, okay, the very first response is actually my Facebook. My Facebook, this is my Facebook account right here. HTML5 courses, that's the title of my document. That comes up in a search engine. The third course to come up here is actually my Udemy course, Getting Started with Dreamweaver. Now, here's a YouTube course. This is also mine, et cetera, et cetera. So don't spend money on SEO where I'm going to teach you how to basically do and be very successful with SEO by simply titling your document correctly. So the title of your document is very important. You can put up to 128 characters into the title of your document. Now, before I go any further, I just I don't want to turn this into a typing class, so I'm just going to type in the word Ibsen, and I'm just going to generate some dummy text to put inside of our HTML5 page inside of Dreamweaver, so we don't have to turn this into a typing class. So I'm just going to take some of this text right here. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom, and I just want to generate five paragraphs of text. So I'm just going to copy five paragraphs. Actually, I lied, four and a half paragraphs. Copy that, and I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver and paste it in. So back inside of Dreamweaver, I'm just going to paste what I copied from the web browser. Okay. Now, for those of you that are new to Dreamweaver, that's great. For those of you that have been using Dreamweaver for years, you're still going to learn a lot of cool information. Now, this is part of an intro course, but guess what? You got to start someplace. We're going to get into some very sophisticated stuff in this course, but I'm going to share with you how the software thinks and how to do things the right way. So in the next video, we're going to start understanding how Dreamweaver thinks, what it means to create an HTML5 page, and get into CSS and how to do this the right way. So stay tuned.